man, Beverly Hills Cop 4, it doesn't matter, does it, whether it would have went big at the cinema or whether it goes good on streaming. I think fans are just happy that it's happened. There's a reason why this works, and it's very simple. Nostalgia. This movie has nostalgia in spades, in volumes. It is just permeating with nostalgia, and it really does play to that fan base. It really does play to a modern audience as well. It has the action, it has the comedy. So with that being said, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, does Retro Man think this is one of the greatest sequels ever? No, it's not. <laughs> is it a great film? No. It's a fun film. And that's all it needs to be. It just needs to be fun. It needs to make people feel good. You just lose yourself for two hours and have a giggle. So for me, this movie is a welcome return for Eddie Murphy and a uh, real return to form for this franchise. So I would be very, very surprised if this film isn't warmly received across the board because it gets most of what it does right and I think this is a perfect movie on a streaming service. It has an actor that the world's aware of, it has comedy, it has action, and it has, of course, a great soundtrack. And I think when uh, the heat is on, kicks in, over those opening credits, wow. I'm back in the saddle with Axel, and I wanna see more. So you're just glued to the screen for the two hours because of that opening moment. So Taggart, Rosewood, Serge, Jeffrey, they're all here and they've all come to bat. I think uh, they're really happy to get back in and have some fun with their roles late in life. And that's a plus point. It's, it's wonderful to see them again back on our screens with Eddie. The supporting cast is a plus here and it's a welcome return for everyone. It kind of revisits everything you love about the first film and then it has these nice little updated tweaks that make it relevant to 2024. And what we're talking about here is Taylor Page as Axel's daughter. Now, I really think that's a good idea. It's uh, present, it's there for the most part of the film. I mean, that father and daughter thing is what gets Axel back to Beverly Hills. It's the thrust of the plot. I mean, that is a really good script element it's a uh, plot device that offers so much, and this film kind of tiptoes around that. So I think the notion of seeing a 63-year-old Eddie Murphy on the beat in Detroit, and then later going back to Beverly Hills, it really makes for something special, because now we get to see Axel a little bit wiser and uh, definitely more seasoned. So it makes for some interesting little changes, and I think that's the delight of this new film. And uh, there is a winning ingredient here. And uh, what that is, is that combination of action and comedy. They do get that right. They also revisit all the music that we love. They include all the supporting characters that we love from the previous films. And you have Eddie Murphy back, fast talking, wisecracking, and feeling good about the project. And I think when Eddie is feeling good, he knows he's onto something, <laughs> Eddie delivers. And here, Eddie does deliver. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's like a revitalized Eddie, because he's enjoying himself and we're enjoying ourselves going along for the ride. So I think uh, it is just a really fun movie, not a great movie, but it's sitting right where it needs to be. And that is fun nostalgic and cool. And if a movie can deliver those things, 
you know, 30 years on, well, that's something to be applauded. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang. But in the meantime, please check out these other episodes.